guys welcome back to my channel and merry christmas guys my lighting is so off but merry christmas guys today is christmas day like how is that even possible obviously i feel like a lot of people don't feel like it's christmas day i don't think it doesn't feel like christmas day to me i'm also by myself so that's i'm sure a lot of people are also spending the holidays by themselves which is fine we got this we got it but um yeah today i am basically by myself I'm not with my I'm not with my family this year basically you know with everything that's going on um, my mom's in Jamaica so that's that and that really doesn't leave anyone else so yeah I'm pretty much I'm gonna try to make the best of it it is what it is I can't like I'm not complaining I've just accepted that I'm spending Christmas without my family this year so um today I'm basically just going to be doing a lot of cooking i'm still gonna like cook like all my favorite like foods that i like to eat on christmas day so like you guys know i'm jamaican so i'm not gonna miss out on all the jamaican food that i can eat today so i'm gonna cook it all myself so i am cooking oxtail i'm cooking fried fish i'm making potato salad i'm making mac and cheese i'm making chicken um we're doing ham i'm going all out because i still want to feel like okay I'm spending Christmas. I, it makes me feel like I'm closer to my family to do all that. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. I'm going to show you guys all of the steps that I'm taking. Maybe not everything in detail, but just like this video is just going to be me hanging out at home on Christmas Day, cooking a feast for myself, basically. <laughs> my hair is in uh, two little braids because I plan on throwing on my wig at some point. And I also, I had it, I had it in a high puff and... um I was just kind of over that so I took it I just braided my hair yesterday very poorly because you guys know I can't braid and I did some um what are these called press-ons because you guys know I'm out of school now so I have like one more week before school starts back anyways but I really wanted to do um my nails so I got some press-ons but yeah Merry Christmas guys anyways let's get into this like cooking what I'm about to do right now, it's like 11 something. Um, I'm about to throw on the oxtail so that can get started cooking because oxtail is probably the one thing that's going to take forever to cook today. So let's go do that. So yeah, the oxtails are huge pieces because I got them from Whole Foods and this time when they got them, um, for some reason they got them pre-packaged so they weren't able to cut them themselves. So it's got to work with it.
All right, guys. So I have my carrot over here. I'm gonna be making carrot juice. So I'm gonna be boiling my carrots. So I cube them up. I cut them up in cubes, and we're gonna boil them to get them a little bit softer, so that when I throw them into the blender, it's much easier. So yeah, that's where we're at. Alrighty guys, my peas is basically cooked. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in the coconut milk, scallion, thyme, all the seasoning and all that stuff that I need for it. Right? Alright. I got my coconut milk.
All right, guys. So I'm not the greatest at making rice and peas. So I found a way around this and it's to finish it off in the um, rice cooker. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure out how much rice I want and how much liquid I have in the peas. And we're just gonna let cook in the rice cooker. Trust me, it's the easiest thing. So if you're having trouble cooking your rice and peas, I always get it too soft. But I find that putting it in the rice cooker makes it 10 times easier. So that's what I'm going to do. So the peas is ready. It's seasoned ready. So I'm going to use that liquid and transfer everything into the rice cooker pot. Let's do it. So get your rice. I'm going to do two cups. Now I'm doing two cups because that's what my rice cooker recommends. That's the um, least amount we can do. And I only want two cups of rice and I really want a lot of rice and peas. So we're gonna do two cups of rice and we're gonna treat it based off, it says if you add two cups of rice, you add two cups of water. But we have to think of the peas as rice as well. So I'm gonna add one cup of peas to the two cups of rice, which has been perfect for me in the future, in the, in the past. So I'm gonna do, so then we're, in, we're gonna end up doing two and a half cups of water because that was perfect for me the last time. Not water, but the liquid from the peas. Um, that was perfect for me last time. But let's see if I even have two cups from the peas. I'm gonna just strain out the liquid. So I want one cup of peas. So it's two cups exact, so I'm gonna add some water. literally all you have to do. And I'm just gonna hit the white rice button. That's all I have to do with this rice cooker. And let me tell you guys, it's gonna come out perfect, trust me. So hit white rice and just leave it. Let it do its thing. So we're going to do the carrot juice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend up. Alright, so we're going to blend the juice. 